Mark Twain, the celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County. Samuel Langhorn Clemens, a.k.a. Mark Twain, was born in Florida, Missouri. That's kind of confusing. Twain actually grew up in the larger Mississippi River town of Hannibal, Missouri. Sadly, his father died when he was 12, and Twain supported the family by apprenticing in a printing company. This is interesting to note because Walt Whitman himself worked in a printing company, and we'll notice that a lot of our American writers started in printing companies. In 1856, Twain quit and boarded a riverboat destined for the Amazon. Quickly, he changed his plans and became an apprentice for Horace Bixby, a famous Mississippi riverboat pilot. Slavery was legal in Missouri, though the state did not join the Confederacy. Twain may have seen brief service in a woefully unorganized Confederate militia, which he joined. This experience he would later fictionalize in the private history of a campaign that failed. Twain's reputation as lecturer and his first success as a writer lay in his skillful retelling of a well-known tall tale. And this was the celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County. According to Venturino, the celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County unfolds as its framing narrator's recollection of a time when he finds himself cornered and bored to death by a tedious storyteller. Readers have long recognized that Twain's presentation of a storyteller who is himself unaware of the ridiculous and funny nature of his story makes the narrative result all the more humorous, and that the jumping frog illustrates the technique of calmly passing along the story of someone being bored to death by a story in order to transform boredom into humor. So the main, um, I suppose, humorous aspect of the celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County is not the story itself, but the fact that our unassuming narrator has been hornswoggled into listening to this incredibly boring tale by this incredibly terrible storyteller. 